Oh, I am. Do you know how much oh. of a need I am? No current live streams. Okay, let's see if this will work now. Again, try another game. See if it's just this particular collection that's giving issues. No, that's I've not the... This... Where a game is just... No, I doubt it's the game itself. It's just I'm cursed. I think that's it. I'm just okay. cursed. We don't know that until you test it. I'm in IT. Trust me. Oh, man. Test the damn fear before you go making assumptions. This time I get assumptions real soon. Yeah, of course, but not your tongue. I wonder how they're gonna do a the story of Sympathy of the Night in in the Castlevania Nocturne anime. Because Rondo of Blood and Sympathy of the Night are immediately after each other. Or at least there's a five year time jump between the two. So I wonder how they're gonna do it. It's been years since. Yeah, just about. What was it called? You know, the ability to use the power of monsters? I mean, the power of dominance. Ugh. Hang on, we have to recap the first game, and it's called The Power of Dominance. Yeah, since you're the first game, Eclipse happens, absorbed in Dracula's castle. So many discovers he's the reincarnation of Dracula. And I think that's how I remember the plot. They try to revive him. Depending on the ending you get, is either he revives, or becomes Dracula, or he overcomes the power and stays human. What the? You're not fixing the transition of this game. M2, you're slacking, kind of. What the? I feel like they ported this and didn't translate. Oh, they, they would have fixed that. No well. shit. No shit they did. The only thing they really did was, like, use the right stick as a stylus. That way you don't have to worry about messing up. Or, like, you can just get some They essentially playable. ported the ROM and then redid the stylus controls. Yeah, and I am happy for that. I'm happy they were able to go through all this effort to make the game you know, as accurate as possible with DS, but Jesus Christ. Damn. And if what I understand, text bugs are like the hardest bugs to fix. Hold on, bear back. Attack with a spinning spear. Nice. Oh, I got a weapon already? Hold on. There we go. I did, um, also, a little bit of a detail, they show you even the stats on the top screen. So if you want to like look does at your- Does change the armor you're wearing when you equip it, or is it like not advanced to do that? Not advanced enough. Damn it. Enchant type, tactical sword type. Takes effect does... but does not consume MP. I know Metroid Dread does, but does Bloodstain? For certain equipment, yes. Like, for example, scarves, masks, all that shit. We're leaving glasses, Bloodstain. Dude, the, the people who made, like, Bloodstain and Metroid Dread have become, like, the modern-day Metroidvania devs. Yeah, like, they're the gold standard now. Like, Mercury Steam and uh, Ega, and Ega's team are now considered, like, you know... Like, oh, the return of Metroidvania is from, like, one of the legends. Or at least the Rising Stars. Because I know Mercury Steve had experience with Castlevania or Metroidvanias with um, Lords of Shadow. Because I know Lords of Shadow, Mirror of Fate was a Metroidvania. So... Oh. So I found one of my shittiest games from back in the day. You know what it is? What? <laughs> Fucking Airport Tycoon 3. You gotta be shitting me. Getting a phone call. I will... Hang on. Uh... What are you, Dents? Who told you about this place? Wait, it was me. <laughs> well, yeah, but... Hey, you got your mind on doing something wicked, huh? I want in, buddy. This grown-ass man. And hey, what happened to that pretty little lady? Here, oh, I remember. Here, just right? read Hammer for now. I'll be right back. You mean Yoko? She's not coming. Uh, just, read, then, told just read Hammer. Soul. I'll be right back. That's fine. Ah, she ain't coming. Well, why not tell her at least? Man, well, since I'm here, I'd better make the best of it. Guess I'm back in my business. You're my customer. Hammer, look, I'm saying this for your own good. You really should leave. Can't do that, I'm afraid. I know when someone's in trouble, and I'm not just gonna leave you here. Okay, I appreciate it. I'll scope out the area and find a spot to set up shop. See you around. Yeah, sure. See ya, Hammer. Man, why wouldn't you just tell her about this? Okay, it's fixing itself, I think. Fuck the phone. I'm back. Yeah. Oh boy, stream's lagging again. It's shitting itself again. We're sla we're slagging again? Yeah, it's in the red now. It's this game. Every other one is fine. 
It's always... Dude, I swear it's something with this collection. There could be like some kind of stream blocker installed. No, no, it's not that. It's just that my signal just sucks. Are we sure this game isn't running Denuvo? Because that honestly could be the problem. Dude, console games can't run Denuvo. Yes, they can. No, they can't. It's been confirmed. They... Yes, they can. No, they can't. Oh, wait, you're streaming this on console. Yeah, I'm using my capture card. Oh, why am I thinking you're doing this on PC? You're determined, I see. I have nothing more to say. Wait, wait, Julius! How can you say that? You barely tried to convince him! I'll be going now. I don't care about your lore. I'm just gonna go in for it. That's the way Belmonts have always done it. We all just burn in gun ho, just walking like a Chad. Oh God! Wait a second, I'm coming too. Now, Yoko, you stay away. Need contact here, just in case. What's that? If you spread that call to me, I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> Wait, you can't just. Fuck you. Fuck Yoko. I gotta do my shit. Feminism is myth. She is spread to the Dracula later. <laughs> what is a man but a miserable pile of secrets? Speaking of. <laughs> Speaking of. <laughs> what? Look at the dialogue. Feminism is a myth. I just realized what I just said. <laughs> oh god, dude. You think it is canceled? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> hey, unlike you, you said the, unlike you, you said the N-word on stream. I'm fine. <laughs> I didn't say it. Yes, you did. I said it. I only said it because I didn't never mind. I got receipts. I was saying it, the characters were saying it. Oh shit. The Norian Kyle always makes it sound like it was sure it was I know, it's funny. I like it. She just got it from looking from tracking Dracula to the Antarctic and found it in permafrost. Yep. Makes it funnier. Get down oh, you here. Don't touch permafrost, kid. Yeah, so it's funny. By the way, so did I tell you about my recent trip to Antarctica and how I got this cough? Don't really care, but okay. Oh, so is there like a sprint tied to it too? No. It's only an Order of Ecclesia for some reason. Order of Ecclesia is the only one that has like mana that you need to be wary of. It's like a stamina meter. It's the only Castlevania I know that uses stamina. So there were three of these Castlevanias with Soma. That one's the only one that has stamina. No, Order of Ecclesia is in the past. It has like a whole new protagonist, a whole new thing. Uh, there's only two games that had Soma. It was Dawn and Aria. Those are the ones with Soma. And then the others for the DS had different protagonists. Yeah, Jonathan and another character for Portrait of Ruin and Shinoa for Order of Ecclesia. So who was in Harmony of Dissonance? I think it was I think it was Juiced, who was another Belmont. His name was Juiced Belmont, what was he on steroids? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Great. Oh hi Sama. You're gonna, act as, you're gonna act as Julius' contact here? Yes, there is no one living here, so I thought, <clears throat> It'd be okay! Oh, that rough looking fun. guy is right across from me! <clears throat> what was his name again? Hammer. Yes, that's what. Yes, what is he doing here? He came to help me, and I also kind of flirt with you, but that's, that's not important. You're trying to ignore your coffee, and they're painting the ass to do. Honestly, he didn't ask <coughs> him to come, did you, Soma? Of course I didn't. I'm sure you would. I'm sure you wouldn't. <coughs> but it would be too dangerous for him to be here. Can't you tell him to leave, Soma? <sighs> I told him already. He wouldn't budge. Besides, it's hopeless now. Especially after someone himself. who's not supposed to be here showed up. Huh? Well, if he wouldn't listen to you, I suppose it's hopeless. Yeah. By the way, I gained a new ability! What'd you gain? I can fly 
catch people! I hey, you. You're finally uh -huh. awake. Yoko's in the area. I saw her earlier. She must come after me. That's not it. This guy really wants to get in her pants. Yep. Jeez, you sure are quick to put a man down, aren't you? That's country. For fuck's sake, why can't I get this? She's place? here to investigate this cult, she said. Well, whatever. In the case I can tell you, I'm a lot more motivated now. Is that too country? Yeah. Didn't you come to back me up? Anyway, have a look around and buy something already. Yeah, I think Signal went back down. Fucking great. Uh, I think it's wild. Also, stream lagging, because I don't know if it is. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, it's back. fixing itself. What happened? Nothing. I think I figured out a day we can do. That we can do, like, an what? idea. I have an idea. What's your idea? How about, how about we have a day for budget RPGs? Budget RPGs? Like... RP, like, they're not bad, it's just that you can clearly tell that they didn't have money involved. Define budget. Like, how do I say this? They're like, in between, they're like double A, in a way. Where like, they look great, but they kind of like, look a little bit low effort in a way. But not in a bad uh, like way. like that alchemy game we played that's getting a really cool looking sequel. Yeah, like, it's not like, like, they're not bad, but you can clearly tell they were made on a budget, right? Like, those types of games. Like, games that aren't necessarily bad, but obviously needed a lot more time and with money. Oh, yeah. Also, for and some reason... Pokemon Sword and Shield? Okay. I'm not salty. Well, I'll, I'll see if I can figure out where to buy one. Because I want to buy one, because I want to play my GameCube again. I mean, that's why I also have a GameCube emulator, because mine's kind of sitting in a drawer, because I don't have any good way to play it at the moment. You mean the GameCube installed on your PC? No, 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 I have one literally behind me, but I have... I know, I but, like, let's not refer to the... Let's not refer to the GameCube involving your PC as an emulator or else Nintendo will come after you. Just say it's your GameCube inside your PC. No, I'm talking about my actual legitimate GameCube here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Like, I have an actual legitimate GameCube. Yeah, and so do I. It's, like, right next to me. I'm using it as a paperweight so far, unfortunately. I have an actual legit GameCube. Yeah. It's just in a drawer right now. Question, was it- I legit he has won. Also, question, but was I it weird for me as a- because- I have a question. Was it weird for me as a- up. Was it weird for me as a 10 year old to be obsessing over GameCube games, even though it was like, well into the PS4 era? A little bit. I even mean, though a lot of them are classic. Considering the fact that the game references the battle in 1999, which is like the equivalent of World War III in Castlevania, they could basically have it where it's like, Cause here's the, what, the humans versus demons, I guess. Yeah, it's essentially World War Three, and Julius, which is the current Belmont of the series right now in the timeline, is basically the la is the strongest Belmont and was able to kill Dracula permanently. Okay. And considering Julius's look, he could definitely pull off a Texan. Oh boy, you! Although I think I know what's gonna happen. Hold on, save scum, cause I'm a bitch that way. Don't you dare save scum, you bitch, or I'll kill you. I don't care. You. you. Oh, you've come. Just as I predicted. Celia Fortner. You're kidding, right? Oh, you're kidding. Oh, that's you. Yo, you want to do him? <laughs> Wait, he has no eyebrows. I just realized that. He has no eyebrows. <laughs> oh, you can't. I'm trying to do a sassy game voice. Hang on. You're kidding, right? You're telling me this punk's the Lord of Darkness, huh? Judging glasses is merely on the appearance. Simpletons are so vexing. Why are you calling me, Dimitri? <laughs> I merely state as a fact. Dario, Dimitri, both of you, enough. Excuse their behavior. Welcome to our house, home to our church. You talk as if you were expecting me. You fear that you will imperil innocence for who you are and who can become. 
Am I not correct? Yes. I fell for your ruse. Why would you want to resurrect the Dark Lord? We do not desire the Dark Lord, per se. For God to be perfectly good, there must be a being of perfect darkness. Oh, she's pulling that plot line. Whole theme, well, that's the whole theme of Castlevania. That's why Dracula exists in the first place. Well, here's the thing, they killed if Dracula. If he's permanently dead, crazy shit's gonna happen. You know, power vacuum and shit. Yeah, but Dracula's like the embodiment of evil itself. So with him dead, there's no evil, which is causing problems, probably. Not exactly, she's just crazy. Ow. Have patience. It will try to stop me using whatever means. There is no need for haste. I gave up on trying to do Sassy Gay. He's just straight gay now. <laughs> He's just huh? straight gay. What the fuck gay. are you saying? He's just straight gay now, he says. <laughs> He's straight gay now. I changed your sexuality in a heartbeat. Here's an our hands I beat Tumblr. We can destroy him whenever, however we wish. Correct. This will also serve as a test for both of you. I see. Wait a second. Test? What test? Didn't hear about that. I am capable of thinking even a little. There is but one Dark Lord, yet there are two con candidates. You and I. Duh, I know that fetch. Then get this through your hollow skull. Whoever defeats this boy becomes chosen as the Lord of Darkness. Uh, I prefer the Lord of Rainbows. <laughs> oh, Lord I get it now. Rainbows, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, that was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so Holy shit. I'm sorry, gay community. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Christ, we're gonna have to cut that out. <laughs> no, I'm keeping that in. You're just the fucking edit of Dario's sure portrait. In a, a Dario's just portrait. A fucking rainbow, <laughs> and a rainbow in the back. <laughs> God damn it. That's uh, enough talking. You break a soul and you eat it like a protein bar. If you wish to stop me, I shall be waiting for you at the top. Or you I can may... just snort that bitch with cocaine. <laughs> snort it like cocaine, he says. I might even just change my mind break that instead of my chops. Spread it on the table. Is there someone else in chat? Because there's apparently there's people watching it right now. I don't know who else is in chat. Hi, back. I'm Dad. See, I guess JK had stuff to do. Yeah, probably. Oh, he's, he says he's been moving for a hot minute now, so he's probably just getting stuff ready. I'll probably drop the rice. The, no. Actually, no. My guess is that you know they want to make it more accurate because you know Frankenstein. They call him the creature. By the way, in the Frankenstein novel, was right? the doctor. Wait, no, hang on, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure Frankenstein was the doctor, and Frankenstein was just Frankenstein's monster and didn't really have an actual name. You know what I find funny is that my elementary school experience was kind of fucked in a way. You ever heard of the li You ever read the Library of Dune books? I have not. Um, essentially, there were these really, they were, like, written by Edgar Allan Poe, and for some reason, they what were in my... Goosebumps? No, Edgar Allan Poe is, like, this really famous horror author. I know who Edgar Allan Poe is. And for some fuck... he was a poet, not a horror author. Well, apparently the stories were written by him, and apparently, um... My school thought it was a good idea, my elementary school said, You know what? These books are made for kids. And uh, the guy who wrote The Raven, as well as the dude who wrote a book about- Oh god, I can't even say that on Twitch. Or on YouTube. What'd you say Edgar Allan Poe had a thing for his, uh... Oh god, I can't even- Dude was a total P.E.D.O. Put it that way. Wasn't he also kind of mentally ill? In a way? Sort of. Like, I'm pretty sure that, like there was like a lot of accounts that he was not all there, mentally. I mean, they just randomly found him dead after he wrote the Raven, so no one really knows. Yeah, and the thing is, though, my we used to use an online program called Myon. That's how we used to read the books. And, bro, how could some of these kids get away with it? Literally, when I was reading the Library of Doom, it would describe the main character cutting himself with the pages. And actually, like, the go into the description of the height was, like, bleeding and shit. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. You know what's annoying? I liked reading fantasy in uh, middle school. My teacher was a fucking, like, hall monitor when it came to the shit we read. So I was reading, like, the Elder Scrolls book and she wouldn't let me read it because it was called too bad. I'm like, woman! I play this game on the daily, what's the problem here? I don't think she knows that. I don't think she cares to know. 
Oh, she was a fucking right word I can't say on fucking YouTube. She was a you know, right. Fuck it, I'm gonna say it anyway. She was a right cunt. Yeah, because that's just mainly sounds... so they can keep it. A... That just that just sounds bad for everyone involved. Oh, it did, dude. I'm like, what the fuck's going on at that? Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm meanwhile I'm watching an episode of uh, Man vs. Food where he's in this like African tribe where they uh, do a thing that I can't say on YouTube. Which is also the same thing in the re. <laughs> Which, funnily enough, fun fact. Do I know why censorship laws are so strict on YouTube now? Blame PewDiePie. He had to say the N word. He couldn't keep his mouth no, shut. No, it wasn't the N word. It was something else he did. It actually wasn't PewDiePie. It was pretty much mainstream media getting really afraid. Of, like, no, it's not that. Like... It was no, it's not that. It was something else. You want to know what he did? What? You know Fiverr, right? Oh okay, god, what do you do on Fiverr? Um, there was a bunch of people from... There was a, a group of people that were just like... Uh, essentially, he discovered the app Fiverr, and he's like, I wonder how far I can take this. And, um... Pretty. What ended up happening is that he kind of, um... Did he something. probably ruined his career at the time. No, he didn't ruin his career. He's still actually pretty popular now. He's kind of like retired in a way. But what ended up happening is that, out of curiosity, he did something super fucking offensive on that app. Oh, uh, didn't he like make a swastika sign or something? Like what he did is that he hired a bunch of people on Fiverr to do like some weird shit. And I forgot what it was, but it was so bad, YouTube had to fix their content policies. Oh, I know. And he is the reason why we can't have we can't be as edgy as we want anymore. I mean, all I know is that orphans not get a baseball because they can't find home base. Makes sense. Yeah. You know what's again? I want to stream someday, but I'm afraid of streaming it. What? You ever heard of Senran Kagura? We're not streaming that. That is banned on both of the platforms. No, I'm pretty sure you can stream it on YouTube, it's just that YouTube would just not like you for it. Isn't that the one where a girl's in a bathtub in a swimsuit? Nope, that's... You have to get in the bathtub with her, or am I thinking of something else? You're thinking of something else. Uh, Senran Kagura is basically just ninja high schoolers. But the thing is, though, okay. um... That should give you plenty of info. You can't always stream shower with your damn kid. But, yeah, essentially, it's... Basically a hack and slash, which sure it's heavy on fan service, but the game is like actually genuinely fun. It's like genuinely one of the funniest games I've played. Speaking of VN, I'd love to stream Cat of a Show because I actually really like the story, but you know, sex. Well considering the fact they're making a, an, a safer work version, like uh, to release it officially on Steam. Um and then all the characters are 18. Yeah, because I know they're like really make aren't they making like an official version for Steam? That's like fully censored. Can you get an uncensored version of this quest? No shit, you can. I think they have a site for it that we could just download the uncensored stuff. But if it's like you just want the regular story experience without like all the icky stuff, you can just get it vanilla and you're good. Yo, there's the gun. The Time to get the gun. The problem is the sex scenes are actually kind of important for one particular storyline. And that is the one with the girl, I'm pretty sure is autistic, which I wonder if they're going to correct that in the uh, remake, because they might. I think they're going to have to, because... yeah, that just autism wasn't really a thing when the original Kato Shoujo was made. Yeah, because that just kind of sounds icky. Um, because you, because there's one important choice you have to make that determines the end of that storyline. You can choose to quote comfort her, but that would also pit, but that would piss off your other friend. And we're not what? going to go into details about that. What? And piss off how, may I ask? I don't remember. All I know is I didn't like that particular story chapter. Did that's about a, a the girl with no legs who essentially uses it as a defense mechanism to hide her actual underlying mental issues from a traumatizing accident. Which I really enjoyed that one. You have a thing. More that, please. What? You really have a thing for traumatized backstories and VNs, do you? Hey! I like tragedy. 
blame fucking high school writing class. Because it was never really an official tree release, so you kind of have to wing it. And just hope you get it right. Yeah, and of course, of course, the first time I played through blind, it threw me into the girl with no leg love story. And I'm like, okay, I can accept this. <laughs> he was the one I was gonna go for anyway. I can accept this. <laughs> it gave me the one girl with no leg story. <laughs> Don't take that out of context. I will. <laughs> I know you will. It's actually the kind of the best ending for the main character because he learns to take care of himself with his heart problems. Oh my god. The fact you you just saying that just why is it so so fucking funny to me? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's just like, so funny to me. It's like, her name was Emmy, that was it. It's like, oh yeah, my favorite storyline is the one character with no legs. <laughs> 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 Oh god, <laughs> something else. I'm going for the girl with no arms in my most recent playthrough, but I can't figure out how to access her shit. Oh my fucking god. You wanna hear an actual joke that the game makes about that? That's really fucked up. Yeah, it's like, they oh. put the girl with no arms oh, and the shit. girl with no legs together. And the oh, you're new. Because, whoa. Hey, Stanley Ball okay, Z, how you doing? Welcome, this is, this is Dawn of Sorrow. Because it's my childhood. I don't even know where you buy it. I don't even know where they got it. Probably Steam. Yeah, maybe. We fucked too many games. Now we gotta play them all. So for the Steam train, stick them up. This is a robbery. <laughs> oh, not you, you prick! I know this guy. I'm safe scumming. <laughs> Fuck this guy. Kill the man. <laughs> I have a Call of Cthulhu oh, game we could play. Actually, I have one. Uh, excuse Chat, me. Yeah. What that. is a good Switch game to play? Metroid Fusion or Graveyard Keeper? Actually, I have a few I can recommend you. Oh, Graveyard Keeper's good, that. Metroid Fusion's oh, amazing, Stardew Valley's Ball's awesome on Switch. You're one of the Dark Lord candidates. I am Dimitri Blunov. You're fighting a demon. Does that mean you betrayed Celia? You have drawn the wrong conclusion. This is merely a ritual to gain power. A ritual? You witnessed it, yes? Unless you're as dim as Daria, you should have discerned my ability. Unless you're as dim as Daria. So that's what it is. The ability to copy magic attacks. Ah, how observant of you. Now, since there are no one else to disrupt us... Hold it. Do I have any reason to fight you? Do you have any reason for going along with Celia's scheme? None whatsoever. Well then. I'm just really bored. However, uh, I have this power. I wish to know the meaning of its significance. Oh, he's literally just bored. Pretty much. Is that not a natural desire? And for that, you want to become the Dark Lord? Is that so wrong? The only cat I've ever met that likes being awkwardly held. We're finding my power and that will finally provide me with answers. Let us begin. You're gonna find out really fast why I hate this boss. Oh yeah, this is a close range. You can't just go and spam. No, cause that attack, that little rolling ball of his, hits four times. It's dodged you, I'm done. Sorry, he gets stun locked. This is why. This is why. Dodge! I, this is why I wanted to save Scum because I knew perfectly well what's gonna happen. Fuck! You know what I do to you when we play SMT3? Oh yeah, that time I cheated with the DLC. Every time. So I have a gag with this man. Every time he cheats, I just leave the chat. I'm like, I can't deal with the cheaters. It's less funnier every time I do it, though. Yeah, because I, I'm prepared for it. FUCK! He knows that was pretty cool, too, because he's fucking- He, like, led the country for World War II, that's pretty sick. In a wheelchair, no less. Yeah. And then, uh... Truman is okay. He also nuked Japan, so fuck Truman. But, uh... Blood Truman has on his hands a lot. He's the only president that ordered the use of a nuke. It's over. Beat me like I was nothing. I'll take your life. Just give up. Damn, pity me. Oh, don't be a bitch, so I stab him! This pity is a weakness you'll be sorry for soon enough. Soma, ruthlessness is mercy upon ourselves. Now stab him. He's dead. What? Dead? Uh, or he could just have a fatal be. heart attack. 
Oh, that? he's like a vessel for the Dark Lord like we are. Did I get dominance over human soul? No, I gain no power. What was that aura? Okay, I need to save and get to a save point to heal because I am scared. <laughs> Say, there's one that I liked and one that I didn't like. There was quite a few, wasn't there? Oh, Saw X was the one I liked. I didn't like Spiral. Yeah, because wasn't that the one with uh, Chris Rock? It was the one that they put freaking what's his face in. Yeah, Chris Rock. No, it wasn't. It was Chris Rock, and then they put uh, Andrew. Who's the dude who plays uh, Mace Windu in Star Wars? Samuel L. Jackson? Yeah, they put Samuel Jackson, and because they had big names in there, they had to censor it. They, they, thought they, were, they censored it because they thought, oh, women are going to watch these movies. We should probably tone it down a bit. Oh, that is some bullshit. And so there was this really cool scene where this dude was going to get his fingers ripped off. Nope, can't do it. Oh, that's some bullshit. It's a censored version. It's a censored version? Oh. I'm pretty sure they weren't even legally allowed to sell it because I'm pretty sure Manhunt's banned for sale in physical form. You know what's fucked up is that compared to the shit nowadays, Manhunt is super fucking tame. You know what's bullshit? They released. Oh yeah, it is. Heard the GTA 5. They... You know what's bullshit? They released Manhunt 2 uncensored for a time only on Steam. And then they released the censored. By limited time, I mean a week. I still find it funny that news outlets like to like obsess over Manhunt. But here's the thing, we have games that are arguably way worse. Dude, in GTA you can just get out of your car and shoot people in the fucking skull. Manhunt has you literally choke people out. I remember there was a- So bad, the Ryzen 7800 X3D 8 core 16 thread. Remember, I remember there was the one for the Wii. That's the one I tried out with my cousin. I did not like the Wii version of that game. That thing felt like it sucked. Watch this game be rare now. You don't know what Night Trap is? No. One of the games that led to the creation of the ESRB. It's literally about you play as a murderer trying to kill girls in a sleepover. That's it's all like FMD. That's some Jason shit right there. I don't know if they ever re-released it. I'm pretty sure they did. Thank God they did it, because that's some Jason shit right there. Jesus Christ. It's actually more funny than it is brutal. Isn't it funny? It's pretty poorly acted. But well, most shit, most games in that era were just horribly, you know. I love the new sequences from the old Command and Conquers that were in the movie. Well, those are great. It's just that, unfortunately, you know. Also, hey, JK, how you doing? Is that the Juju Kaisen in our chat room? <laughs> Juju Kaisen, he's like, shut the fuck up. That's Juju Kaisen. Why do I always say Juju Kaisen? It's Jujutsu Kaisen. It's just the way things are in that world. On, but the thing is, though, what he does is that he introduces characters, has them do their thing for a couple chapters, then kill them off. Which is a bad habit that guy has had for a so long... So he has a nasty trigger finger like the author of Gans does. Yeah. Parrot mass, bitch! You thought you can get away. What? what? Yeah. Parrot mass, bitch! You thought you could get away? With what? With what you did? Wait, what the f Oh. Sorry, I'm not reading this right. Huh? Dimitri! I'm talking about fucking Dimitri, bitch! You fucking killed him! I didn't mean to kill your friend. I didn't finish. Huh? What are you saying? I want to pop. I want to pop on that uppity jerk myself. Doesn't your friend's death mean anything to you? Uh, I'm gay and a werewolf. Of course it doesn't. Ha! Ha! You've got to be joking. Why do you want to become a Dark Lord anyway? Why? Look at this fucking power bitch! We're bringing it back, boys! Can you imagine how crazy there'll be with even more fucking power? You're insane. And you got way too much. Wow, sometimes that voice can be used properly when sentences like that. Come on, punk. I'm gonna see your fender. And I'll leave Margarita, it'll be your fork. Yeah, that's my fucking sick.
Big Mongol, so I gotta go take a massive number two. I'll be right back. Oh, wait, let me read this first. You can give up trying to become the Dark Lord. A puck like you, you're not walking away from that. Well, shit. Dario, enough. Dario, don't try and fucking stop me. A man's got his fucking pride. I know that, but I'm not prepared to lose the last candidate. We'll pull back for now. I have another plan. I honestly thought she was going to say we'll pull out for now. I underestimated you. I, I have to go use the bathroom. We should yet. probably end this after this. Yeah. Oh, I plan on it. I should be waiting on the utmost floor. Come if you dare. Bye, bitch. Come on, man. Soma! Huh? So I just had to go involved, didn't I? Mercado. What are you doing here? I thought that you were protecting Mina. Mina's fine. My colleagues are providing protection. Besides keeping you under observation gets priority. You're still treating me as if I were the Dark Lord. Have you even gotten, seen enough? I need you to understand. You're considered to be extremely dangerous. We are here now. So let's use this to our advantage. So as under my watch, I can allow you to help us a bit, I suppose. Besides, I can't just allow this cult to carry on this way. Thanks. Appreciate it. Also, me and interested me with this. It's for you. What? A letter? An amulet? Dear Soma, if you're reading this, you've probably gone after that cult. I had a feeling you you would when you disappeared after that incident. I know that you worry about me, Soma. But I worry just as much as about you. Oh yeah, Dracula Soma looks fucking sick. He looks amazing at the end of, like, when you turn in Araya. I want to see you come back right away because you're way too stubborn. But please. Where do we find her again? Oh no, she's just telling me to read me a letter. Oh, don't forget about the amulet. I'm sure it'll come into handy. I'll be praying for you. Always, Mina. Mina. Soma. Dude. Brief me on the situation. What have you discovered? Uh, sure. Discover what I learned so far to Arikado. Understood. The fact that Celia mentioned a plan doesn't sound good. The only thing I should think about is to reach the top floor she mentioned. Fine, you do that. In the meantime, I'll try and track down Dario's whereabouts. I want super so what is he even able to do? Just sneak around? He's essentially just watching me. Yeah, I think we should call it here tonight. It's like 119 by me. Yeah, it's also perfect time ending as well. Alright guys, we're gonna stream off here. Oh my god, I can't believe we finally get to stream this without it lagging or glitching out on me. It is a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. I thought it was cursed for a sec. But, yeah. Oh, you're not? Yeah, surprisingly not. But yeah, I'm just no, glad... Yeah, I'm just kind of glad that we managed to pull this off. But holy shit! This took a while. So, for all of you still here, I would really appreciate you subscribed. It would be amazing. And essentially like the stream if you enjoyed it. For those watching after the stream, I would really appreciate you subscribe to the stream. Go check out this man, Japan Lover 79. And like the stream if you enjoyed it. Or leave any comments you want to say nice to, nice to me or any mean shit you want to say to me. Anyways, Be sure to come back tomorrow night because we're going to be marifying some Fire Emblem for the final time. Three hot fates, which means, JK, you better save her seeing your wife for the last time. Because I can't do it on Sunday because I have to get up super early that Monday. Yeah. Anyways, good night, fellas or gals or whatever you want to call yourselves. Bye-bye. You're pretty dirty. Fuck it, I know.